What's up, people? My name is KING Kweku Mensa. You're welcome to another episode of What They Happen. You know how they juice the go. We they cook more jollof for here. Yes, every just way they the street stop, we the carry can give you. Thank you so much for all the engagement you've been giving us on our YouTube channel. Continue to subscribe, like, comment, and share the post. And make sure you follow us on other social media platforms as well. I mean, YouTube is doing good, but uh, Instagram, Facebook, X. You guys are not pulling your weight. Why? Your jollof finish, your petrol finish. We could send you some tokens, we could do something. Do something giveaway. Do we, we go do you. No, that didn't come out, right? Do we favor, we too go do you favor. You understand? Welcome to a new episode. Today, the juicy day, eh? I feel like this youth or this kind of generation will come out. Then get a whole lot of issues. Things we used to play with. As simple as a balloon, that you go go try your luck. Your last coin way, mommy stick send you. Say they go buy something, or you go teach your boy and go do. That thing I never win some before. Hey, how do? And you go use all your coins do that try your luck balloon, but you never. The big one you never go win. I don't know if it be juju. That be where betting start from. Wait and say now it be sports investment. So the big balloon there, no bro ever go win for the whole community inside. Every balloon on the whole board or whatever will disappear someone will win it except the big balloon now you guys are taking the balloon into the clubs and into the pubs and not just that for fun or you they go play with them you they fill them with laughing gas just to get high you guys are you want to get high on almost anything the last time i hear you guys you guys they get high on super glue you they get high on yo what's up what they happen how high do you want to get? An advice to us, no matter how high you think you can get, you can never be called the most high. That position has already been taken. Mm? That position has, you will never be the same as the most high. So why are you stressing yourself? So right now, there is a directive from the Ghana Medical Association and other bodies warning the youth to desist from the use of these balloons. So what the, if you are lost like some people, I know you are, what is balloon, what is balloon? In your homes is a plaything. In the clubs or in the pubs or in the bars is a thing to get high on because they take a normal balloon and fill it up with nitrox oxide or laughing gas. The same thing they use for anesthetics. The same medicine they use for anesthesia. So they fill the balloon up with that and sell the balloon in the clubs or at the pub. So I, I actually know a very famous pub in Accra that does that. I've never bothered to ask, yo, what is this? And you see the girls now as a flex, like to hold the balloon and inhale it. it it's, <laughs> hey, which generation? So this generation will be teaching my kids how to survive, like in schools and all that, this, this one. A few minutes later. <laughs> so all this thing, and it can kill you spot on. Because it can stop your breathing or restrict your breathing. And you can die in less than 10 minutes. This is very bad, guys, why? Why? Now, new directives that are coming out from the Ghana Medical Association is that police should help them clamp down on pubs and uh, um, nightclubs selling this thing. Question I am asking right now, okay, we know the youth will always find ways and means to get high. <laughs> like, hell, they might even try to get high on wood. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the next thing that will come. But if the purchase of the nitrous oxide or the laughing gas is not easy, easily accessible, how will the pubs and the nightclubs get access to it to be able to use a drug or something that is supposed to be used in the hospitals, in their clubs? How? It means there is someone on the inside selling it. If it's not easily accessible, it means there is someone on the inside selling it to these people. Or they know some connect somewhere. Like how then they sell the illegal drugs. This is, this is wrong, guys. This is wrong. Stop getting high on useless things. 
stop getting high on useless you can take all yourself and you get high yes mm. just if you want to get high take all yourself watch a movie read a book something mm. get high on knowledge now these things you know they make sense you know it just know they make sense some bro get high eh? <laughs> this is an actual a true story so someone was sitting with the leg crossed go high and when he came back to his senses he was looking for his left leg someone can get high turn on the torch of his or her phone and will be using that same torch to look for his or her phone what is this what is this is this how we want to move in a country like this already this country is messed up now we are getting high <laughs> i don't even know what to tell you people again i, I can't advise you i'm not your parents but don't get high please so let me know what you think do you think this is right have you ever experienced um, you self you were you to watch me you ever used the balloon before how did you feel how high did you get anyway on to the next story from a high story to an unknown phase on covering things a ruling government said when they were in opposition so i can say it's a lie so if you guys would notice, around November 20th, a billboard popped up in Accra with a tweet from the current vice president of Ghana, who was then in opposition. And the tweet was sort of talking about some things that uh, the then ruling government, which was the NDC, were doing that was not right. And he's saying that if he had the opportunity to be in power, he would do, he would move correct. Yeah, he would move to the thing correctly. But <laughs> that billboard lasted only 48 hours in the system and it was taken down by powers that be. A new one has popped up in Accra about two days ago. Yes, one day, two days ago, somewhere. Cycle, you know, the busiest street, cycle. And it's very large. You can't oversee it. It's not something that you can just bypass. You see it everywhere you're standing. And it has a tweet of the now vice president talking about taxes <laughs> talking about how the ndc is taxing everything in the country and how he is going to do better if he comes into power and this tweet dates as back, as far back as 2017 so this billboard was put up by a certain unknown character called the receipts guy what this guy does is he has kept or he has archived receipts from every government. So NDC, NPP, PNC, UGCC, oh, no, nah, not tweet, tweet, Twitter no commas, UGCC, they, they. you get the drift. So from all, everything that has been said, from NDC to PNC to uh, Indum, CPP, NPP, everything, this guy has receipts of it and is bringing it out gradually when that government is in power. So if you said A, or be when you were in opposition, when you come in power and that same thing is being played out or even worse, he brings out receipt. That's, how he, that's why his name is called Receipt Guy. So the funny thing is, all the words on this billboard, it, in a way, it, I would talk say it'd be true. It's, it's sort of true because when you look at the current economy or back in the 2017 that this tweet was made by the vice president, Hardship, true. Economic rules, true. Taxes, over our heads. Then he comes back to say, oh, he will do different. He will move correct. He will do everything right if he's given the power. Then he comes into power and everything, every word he said is now being used against him, not in the court of law, but in the court of the received guy on a billboard at Circle. Word of advice. Don't say things you can't do. Ghana is not like your girlfriend. Mm? Don't promise and feel. Because we have now we have someone called the receipts guy, keeping receipts of everything that you are saying when you are in opposition. And yes, just like the judgment day, we'll be using that against you. Hey, I say you, or I say we, like Ade Monk. Ade beg. <laughs> I'm not part. Please. He will be using it against you when the time is right. Let me know, do you think it's the right thing this received guy is doing? Or do you think he's funded by the opposition uh, power, which is NDC, to sort of 
poke holes into what Baumia or the ruling party is doing? Do you think someone is behind this and has political intentions? Or you think it's job for the masses? We are saving a dying economy. This country, there, even if Jesus Christ becomes president, I cannot continue the statement. But you know where I'm going. At. My name is KING Kokume. So make sure you follow us on all social media platforms. YouTube especially, subscribe, like, and share this content. I'll catch you in the next episode, Charlie. Peace out.